um, really even since the Ole Miss game has, has been a lot. Um, just what have you seen the most in the most growth from Malik, whether that be film study on the field or any, any, anything like that? Well, I mean, like I said, he's done a great job throughout the offseason with film study, uh, working on his mechanics, working on staying in the pocket. Uh, and I think it's really showing this season. Uh, he's doing a great job sitting in the pocket, going through his reads. He's very accurate. Um, he's not forcing the football. He's taking what the defense gives him. Um, and he's throwing it away when he needs to. Um, Hold on. So there's no video. Can you guys see Pete? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. We're just talking about. Okay, go ahead. Now you we do. Now we do. You're good. I can't remember where I was at, but yeah, he's done a great job. I mean, he's very poised. He's not forcing the football. He's not turning the football over. Um, and I think all the hard work in the off season is um, is re is really paying off. He's playing really, really well. Um, and obviously, we're going to need him to continue to play well going forward to win some of these games. Hey, Pete, Michael McCammon, hope all's well. Um, going, obviously, sticking with Malik, how have you seen him? You've talked about the different changes he's been making and, con and, and progressing with on the field. As far as off the field, when you see him working with not with just the other quarterbacks, but especially the receivers, because there's really no standout guy there. How has he progressed in that regard? So I guess from a leadership standpoint. Yeah, I mean, he, he's a great leader. He's a leader on our offense, and I think he's one of the leaders on the team, which is obviously why he's a team captain. Um, and he's taken a more leadership role and is very vocal, uh, especially with the receivers. Um, obviously, I mean, we lost 2-2 in Dez last year, but we have a lot of guys that are uh, that are all right there in terms of catches and yards. Um, and, and I think Malik's done a great job with all them, and they've done a great job too. we got some playmakers out there. Um, but I, I think it helps too sometimes. I mean, we're just – calling the offense for the most part, Coach Sad is, and who's ever out there at receiver, he trusts, and he's going to go through his reads no matter who's out there at, at receiver. Um, and I think there, there's some benefits to that as well. Hey, Pete, this is Gary Graves from AP. How, how have you um, worked with Malik in terms of his patience toward that end, in terms of, you know, really just kind of settling in and, and going through those reads? Yeah, I mean, obviously we know what Malik Cunningham can do when he's out in the open field running the football. Um, so all, all off season, summer, fall camp, and I mean, day in and day out, we just continue to hone in, sitting in the pocket, going through reads. Um, and for the most part, that, that's all we work. The other stuff is very natural to him, so you don't you don't really need to work that. Um, so we just work on sitting in the pocket, going through your reads, trusting your reads. Um, and finding the open guy, and then when it is time to pull pull the ball down and go make a play, then that's natural instinct, natural instinct, and that's when that takes over. Um, and he's done a great job at it. He's worked really hard at it, um, and I think it's shown in the games. Hey, hey Pete, kind of a, a follow up to that. There are two throws in the Virginia game that I feel like kind of show that a lot. The touchdown to Tyler Harrell. I mean, he was under pressure in that one, and yep. then the second, the second deep throw to Tyler Harrell, which didn't get completed, but I mean, he was about to get sacked. Do those two throws, you think, are those perfect examples of just the growth Malik's made and going from a guy who scrambles a lot to becoming a true pocket passer? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, I think uh, a very important part in playing quarterback is not trusting or uh, not looking at the rush and trusting your own line. Um, you can't look at the rush. you got to feel the rush. And I think he's done a great job of feeling the rush. Um, and both of those throws as and a couple other ones throughout the season have shown that he's – He's not looking at the rush. He's looking at the, the defense, what they're doing. He's trusting his O-line, and he's making those throws. And, yeah, I mean, the first play of the game was a 91-yard touchdown. Great throw with a little bit of pressure in his face. And then we took the shot there in the fourth quarter, and we didn't complete it, but we were really, really close to completing it. Um, and, and I agree with you. Those, those two throws were big-time throws, um, and he's going to need to continue to make those throws in order to win some of these games. At, at what point did you see that click from Malik where he was like, um, because even Ole Miss, he was running a little bit too much. Is, at what point did you feel like it clicked? Like, okay, I got to sit in the pocket and, and trust my own line like that. Um, I, I think it really clicked in the UCF game. Um, I think it really clicked in the UCF game. I mean, we've had a lot of conversations, and what's going to make him a, a better runner is proving that he can sit in the pocket and make throws. Because um, then the defenses have to defend that, which opens up some more running lanes. So, I think the UCF game is when he really 
um, show that, hey, I can sit in the pocket and make these throws. Um, and in turn, it's going to make me a, a better runner as well and a better offense. Hey, Pete, Michael McCammon again. When you look at the film uh, of Boston College and, and how they try and, and stop the pass, I mean, they've done a decent job of it uh, without really getting that many sacks. I think they're last in the ACC in sacks. Um, but what, what's their strength against the pass that's made them do as well as they have done? Well, they don't give you any easy throws. They play a lot of man coverage. They press a lot, um, and they do bring a lot of pressure. Um, and they don't give you any easy throws. Uh, so we're going to have to be precise with Malik. He's going to have to be very accurate. Every throw is going to be contested. Uh, the DB is going to be right on the receiver. So we're going to have to be very honed in on the route concepts we're running, where we're trying to go with the football. And Malik's going to have to be very, very accurate because they, they make you work for everything. Uh, they're a very disciplined defense, and they play very, very hard. Um, and then they're, and they're tough, and they're, they're going to make you earn everything. That's good. Yep. Good. All right. Awesome. Thank Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.